The Wellesley News, the student newspaper of Wellesley College for Women, has issued a ringing defense of banning speech. I wish I were kidding. But during a debate on whether to ban feminist speaker Laura Kipnis from the campus, the student journalist published an editorial saying that liberty, free thought, and open debate are not for Wellesley girls. The students say that banning speech they disagree with is not a violation of the principles of free speech because if the speech were supposed to be free, they would agree with it and it wouldn't be banned. But if it's banned, they don't agree with it, so it isn't free or something. The students call speech they disagree with hate speech because they hate it. They hate it because they disagree with it and that makes it hateful. Everything they disagree with is hateful because otherwise they would have to listen to it, which they would hate. So the principles of free speech demand that they ban speech they should, that shouldn't be free because it's banned. Hate speech can be banned without violating free speech because if it were free speech, it would be called free instead of hate. And then they wouldn't hate it and it wouldn't be banned because it would be free and they would agree with it. That's how you can tell speech that shouldn't be banned if Wellesley College girls agree with it. Otherwise, it's hateful or they would agree with it and it would be free. The editorial in the Wellesley News says, quote, and this, I swear, is an actual quote edited for brevity, quote, we have all said problematic claims, the origins of which were ingrained in us by our discriminatory and biased society. Luckily, most of us have been taught by our peers and mentors at Wellesley in a productive way. This being said, if people are given the resources to learn and either continue to speak hate speech or refuse to adapt their beliefs, then hostility may be warranted." Unquote. Now, some of you may read that and say, wow, that's ungrammatical to the point of being illiterate. But this is to ignore the fact that it's also Orwellian to the point of being fascistic. Some of you may ask yourself, how did a group of spoiled, privileged, whiny, spoiled, and also whiny young ladies turn into such little Nazis? Well, it's because they were taught by big Nazis. Wellesley faculty also defend the practice of banning speech they disagree with. Six faculty members wrote a letter saying such speech imposes on the liberty of students by forcing them to, quote, invest time and energy in rebutting the speaker's arguments, unquote. I agree. Rebutting arguments, also known as thinking or learning, is not the sort of thing we want going on at our institutions of higher education, especially institutions for women. The last thing we want are women who know how to think and debate. Good God, we'd never hear the end of it. The next thing you know, there'd be women walking around forming their own independent ideas. Fortunately for the women of Wellesley, that's not going to be a problem. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.